We continue to follow through on the January 22nd floods. They brought more than just water. They brought a flood of people needing help, a flood of debris and damage, a flood of support and volunteers, and then a flood of money. Team 10 investigator Craig Harris is following through on how that money was spent and the results the county got from an out-of-state contractor paid to help storm victims. We told you months ago about widespread complaints from flood victims regarding Equus. That's the Kentucky company hired to run the county's emergency temporary lodging program. Among the problems, the company sent one flood victim to a hotel that had been shut down. Others said Equus Lee repeatedly lost their information and put their hotel stays in jeopardy. Team 10 now has uncovered how much that service cost taxpayers and whether Equus submitted proper bills to be paid. Recycling? <laughs> Recycling. We introduced you earlier this year to the Sheffield family. They were flooded out of their Spring Valley home along with their sons and their girlfriends. Lisa is an OB nurse, John an amputee Navy veteran. They've been married 28 years. They and their son's girlfriends recently visited with us in their remodeled home. The walls got replaced, bathrooms all brand new. They also spent a long time together at the Ramada in National City while their home got fixed. 20 weeks and three days, half a pregnancy. <laughs> I'm an OB nurse and everything's in weeks. The Sheffields, all six of them, were among the first families at the Ramada. They got kicked out of their rooms after Equus took over from local nonprofit organizations that had managed the emergency services. What was it like dealing with Equus? Frustrating. We were out in the parking lot for about three hours because the paperwork didn't come in. Equus didn't coordinate. Whatever was going on, it was just a hot, hot mess. Sheffield said when the Jackie Robinson YMCA and the Harvey Family Foundation ran the emergency program, it was more organized and compassionate. Somebody came in and actually one on one saw that I was having a bad time and just sat there with me and talked me through and gave me her number and became my point of contact. Even though it was chaotic, it was more organized and, and more personable. And we have a whole team. Um, we even went out and rented a kitchen. Armand Harvey became one of the public faces of the floods. His organization took the lead to house and feed flood victims. But being a good Samaritan may have hospitalized Harvey. We recently sat down with the president and founder of the Harvey Family Foundation. I had a hip injury that went septic, uh, went into my blood stream, um, and got an infection in my blood. Uh, once that child went through my blood, went through my lungs and collapsed my lungs. So it's, uh, it's a process learning how to walk again with my left, my left leg. He said the illness may have come from the floods. The fact that I was in a lot of the houses and a lot of the water and things like that could determine that my immune system was already in the works of, of battling a lot of the bacteria that I came in, 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 in contact with. Um, so it could have been a contributing factor. Shortly after the floods hit, the Harvey Foundation was canvassing neighborhoods to get information about victims. They also helped coordinate meals. But the county didn't want to hire them. That's because the county already had a contract in place with Equus to provide emergency housing services. Uh, obviously, county officials were down taking pictures and shaking hands with us and telling us how much of a good job we were doing. But not once were we approached saying, hey, we have money. How can we help uh, move this along with, with your help? Team 10 found that money, a lot of it, went to Equus. We previously reported that San Diego County was paying Equus hundreds of dollars an hour to run the emergency housing program for flood victims. We are following through with new documents we obtained from San Diego County through a public records request. Those records show that in February, when the work started, Equus billed the county more than $70,000 for two project directors. That's about $35,000 each for one month of work. But that bill and every single one through June from Equus raised questions at the county. Each invoice was flagged by the county's Department of Emergency Services. The problem? More supporting documents were needed. 
County officials, including Chairwoman Nora Vargas, declined on-camera interviews for this story. But a county spokesman told me in an email that the county is reviewing Equus timesheets and hotel folios to make sure that they match the invoices submitted by the company. Chuck Westerhide Jr., the spokesman, wrote, The total cost of the services appears to differ from the contract hourly rate. He added, we are confident that we'll reach a mutually beneficial agreement. Equus on average had 35 full-time workers per week over a four-month period, according to the county. The county noted their pay included fringe benefits and travel. An Equus spokeswoman declined to comment. We showed these records to Harvey. He wasn't happy. This is what they were paying hourly wages for Equus employees. Project director, $256 an hour. Housing navigators, the lowest is $106 an hour for admin. This is crazy. While we're all out here doing it for free, not complaining, and getting the job actually done, these people are making a minimum of $106 an hour and still didn't even solve the problem. It was a lot of wasted money. Harvey said county leaders have let the community down. How is our community supposed to put trust in our county? How are our organizations, our nonprofit organizations who want to really help our community, able to put trust in the county? If they're willing to make decisions like this, like this is, this is outrageous. He said local nonprofits like his could have done far more with less than what was paid to Equus. With the amount of money that you gave them, um, not only would we have had temporary housing for them, but we would have got them back into their own homes. The county told me that at least $14 million was billed for hotel beds for flood victims. Currently, the county is reviewing about $11 million worth of bills, most of that from May and June from Equus. The county told me that payments will be made once additional documentation is received and outstanding issues are resolved. With photojournalist Amal Brown, for Team 10, I'm Craig Harris.